absolutely hate it when they wet the roads down. Oh, who's gonna clean that up when I get home? It's on. Hey, here we go again. Another scouting trip in the high country. Looking for more of those mule deer. Today's the 22nd of August. Planning a four night trip. This Thursday will come out Sunday. Got the horses. Get some more miles on them. And see what we can find. Gonna do three different camps. Hopefully get ourselves in some better spots, better situations, be able to spot a big buck if he's out there. Gonna go same drainage we went last time, a little different angle or two, and then we're gonna go up a whole completely different drainage uh, later in the trip. A little harder access, uh, hoping that'll keep the people out. Because if you've been around any kind of over-the-counter deer units, getting away from people can be hard. It can be a lot of work. So we'll keep driving down this bumpy road. And get the horses all saddled up. See y'all on the trail. Well, we're on the trail. Got a little different string this time. Ernie right there behind me. Last time we had him in this position, we had a rodeo. So we're really hoping things go a little bit better this time. So, see what happens though. Only one way to find out, right? Just gotta get out there and do it. Man, that hat needs some straightening. Well, we already had our first little wreck. Ernie decided about a minute out of the truck that he was gonna run. Lou back there at the back with the panniers on broke free and luckily he's a stander he just hangs out so it wasn't hard to catch or anything but now we're back on the trail and moving on out gonna try to get camp set get some glassing in this evening it's oh shoot 6 30 at night Sunsets at 834, I want to say, is what weather was saying. So, get a little time in. Nice flat ride. Probably takes about 40 minutes to get in there. Well, we made it. A little bit late. This is the country we're in. <laughs> uh, seems like the sun set a little earlier than they said it was going to. So we'll probably just pack on up and head back down to camp. It took a little while longer than I thought it would. Getting camp set up. Getting the horses taken care of, you know. Gotta do all that stuff before you can just leave. Camp chores. Never ending seems like. But we'll be right here in the morning. I spotted one buck while it was still bright enough to glass. So that's not not too bad. Oh man, I just found a stud. Look at him there on the left. Oh, I wish the light was better. Here's some of that big guy's friends. Boy, I lost him in the trees, so I can't, I can't find him again. I hope he pops back out so I can get some good video. He's a stud. more with
with you, but that one's not bad. Trying to do this in a hurry. There he is. Look at that fella. Oh my goodness. The best buck I've seen this year by far. I need a good tripod so bad. Oh, look at my bag. Look at that little guy behind him. Looks like his backs are a little weak, but man, I wouldn't pass him. Four more. like that middle one to definitely older buck I mean, look at the body size compared to his three compadres there tall weak forks decent main beam length looks like makes 15 bucks this morning. Kind of looks like my horse is after standing in the pasture all winter. Look at that gut. Big saggy back bows down. I think he hears me talking about him. Good old sway back. Well, not too bad of a morning. Fifteen, sixteen buck deer. But it's getting cold. Frost. I'm going to have to start wearing some better clothes. It's just so hard when you leave town and it's 90 degrees. Just don't think to pack that much. But it's definitely, definitely getting chillier. Swarovski did good this morning. 
just need to get better at getting this dang phone hooked up. Get video. Be nice to be able to go back and look at these things. Maybe have somebody who knows what they're doing judge them a little bit. I don't know. I'm still learning. So, <clears throat> just about time to go take care of the horses. Turn them out to be fed. They'll enjoy it. This grass up here is good stuff. If they can find where the cows haven't eaten it down to nothing. So we'll get on with that. Well, got him picketed. Tied to that tree right there. So, should be enough to keep him busy for a minute. Hank's over there. So, TP down there. And Henry's right there. Not Henry, Lou. He gets double leg hobbles because he'll just hang out anyways, as long as these two aren't leaving. So, go get him taken care of and we'll just hang out at camp, read a book for an hour or so. Let these guys eat. Back at camp. You can see you got the teepee set up. Horses are out here eating. So, not a bad morning. I put camp where I didn't even have to leave the tent till I don't know, quarter after six. I was glassing by 6.20. It was still a little dark actually. But saw those bucks, about 15, 16 bucks. One real good one. And that other one, I think that he'd probably end up being a shooter too. But this area just gets hammered. And the more I went and looked at where those bucks were, I actually walked around and checked them out. And the main trail's right below them. So I don't know, I don't know how that's gonna work out. Um, but. Now I have the dilemma of, do I stay here tonight, go up there and try to catch them bucks again, see if I can see that big one, or do I stick with my plan and ride up kind of over that mountain behind me and uh, get into another basin, try to get on top where I can glass into two basins. <clears throat> Not 100% sure right now, so I'll just kind of mull that over, probably sit here, drink a beer, Think about it, read my book, see if I can learn anything, and just watch these horses. Looks like Ernie's already in a little bit of trouble over there. I swear, that horse. But I guess they just need their work too. Can't just take them out and expect them to be top hand right away. They got to get in shape and get back into the mountain life too. Anyways, get back at her. Went ahead and moved camp. I decided I just needed to keep looking at country. We know that big one's there, so if we need to, we'll come back. Horses picking it out. Home sweet home for the night. meadow here. I'm going to go climb a whole bunch of feet, vertical feet, get up there. There's a little better video of a small one. Only about 500 yards away. See if we can zoom in on it. Tall backs, no fronts. So if I was getting closer, see that extra back there between his G3 and G4? so bad.
it is. He had fronts to match those backs. I'd probably consider him a taker. Well, the camera doesn't do it justice, but it's too dark to look through the knox anymore. Just couldn't see more than a couple hundred yards. Gonna mosey on back to camp, check on the horses. Get some dinner made. Top ramen tonight. So this stuff's steep. Should've stuck to my original trail. Won't be coming back up this in the morning. We'll go up the first trail I went up. And we'll go up there and see if anything moves in the morning. Seems like the last few trips up here, I've been seeing way more deer in the morning than I have in the evening. So hopefully that holds true tomorrow, we'll find out. I just shut the camera off and this grouse scared the ever living crap out of me. Oh, it's too dark for you to see. Wish I would've left it on. You guys would have got a kick out of that. How many times have you opened up your backpack for your headlamp to be stuck on? Wondering how long you've been on? Is there batteries left? Did I bring extra batteries? Well, here's your tip of the day, fellas. Open it up. Flop one of your batteries backwards. See that? Two of them in a row the same same way. And then it won't turn on in your backpack. Just remember which one it is so that you can flip them around in the dark, need be. I haven't been seeing any bucks with does, and that's kind of what I understand is this time of year they don't hang out close to each other. But this kind of maybe this is the exception, not the rule. It's not a bad deer, big backs, that seems to be what this country produces, but big fronts. Let's see if we can get zoomed in a little on him. Third buck this morning. I've seen half a dozen or ten does. left side. It's a little grip wall. Headed to our next camp. Real steep ride in here where we rode up last night, so walking the horses down. Ernie's in the back. He's being such a jerk. If he breaks free back there, I guess we'll just catch him, but keeps dragging poor Lou around. And Anyways, see how he does on that log. He's a jumper. One thing you really don't want out of a pack horse is a jumper. So, anyways, I'll get you guys turned around here and I'll show you what we're walking down through.
not really a trail. There's a better kind of cattle trail down lower, but we'll catch it on the way out. I just knew we could make it in here, put ourselves closer to glass. Oh, grouse. Wonder if I caught that on tape. Oh, there's another one. Where'd they go? Right there's one in the shade. Man, if it was next weekend, I'd be eating good tonight. Look at all of them. Good young one right there, that'd be a good eater. Where's that, where's that? Right there. Mm -hmm. I found the trail. Gained, or lost I guess in this case. 900 feet and a little under half mile. So, pretty steep. I think the horses are digging just walking by themselves. Not me on them. Easy. Go easy. Almost down. Easy. Good boy, easy. Easy. Good horses. These are the trails I like to find. Doesn't look like a lot of traffic on them. It's hard to pick it out of the woods to find this drainage. Although there has been somebody in here, they've cleared the trail a little bit. Boy, it's gonna be tight. He cleared it. Okay, better get this thing put away. Check out this rock. It's like a geode or something. Probably worth a fortune, and I'm going to leave it laying right here. Maybe something lives in there. To me, this screams big mule deer. stay in a different spot. It's just gonna have to keep this one in the back of my mind. Man, looks good. Well, we only glassed up three bucks this evening. So I'm gonna call it a night and go back down, check on the teepee. It's been super windy, so I hope it's still standing. First, I've got to traverse that. Teepees uh, down right there in the bottom. Probably only five, six hundred yards, but it's steep if you can't tell. Let's see. It's about on the level. As you can guess, won't be filming going down that. Well, that wraps up another scouting trip. Sunday mid-morning. So that makes seven nights in the backcountry so far. Between a two-man tent, back of the truck, and my teepee. Not too bad. Saw another 
three bucks this morning, but the wind just wasn't conducive to the big glass. You could kind of tell that they weren't were average bucks. I get, I suppose, 130s to 150s. But oh, gotta watch this hole. Hold on. Man, that better get fixed. If we get any rain, it's gonna be bad. But anyways. So horses did good, we're out, we're off. I think that's it for scouting this year. Today is August 25th. We'll be hunting in 17 days. Well, we'll be back to scout again in 17 days. That'll run into the hunting season. So keep up, hopefully we go find that big boy again. Thanks. Thank you.